for each and every one of these hostages to be brought to a secure location. We also have the opportunity to experience, in a fleeting moment, what the Israelis go through on a daily basis during our stay. At the time, we were having lunch at our hotel when the sirens went off, which indicated that rockets, rockets fired by Hamas, were only seven to nine minutes away. Every one of us hurriedly entered a shelter and waited with bated breath until we were informed that the situation had been resolved. Another instance of this occurred in the evening, just a few minutes before a news conference that we were scheduled to do on Sunday, but had to be postponed. And for us. According to him, he has just received information that his employer has informed him that they will no longer be paying for health insurance. Is unsure about what they intend to do in the future. To all of you out there who, and there are a great number of people who are still in that situation, and who talk about being deprived of your dignity and not being able to take care of your family if you do not have health insurance, I believe that not having health insurance is one of the most significant things that can happen to a person. To put it another way, for each and every one of you out there, this year, during the budget process, for the purpose of reducing overall government spending, the portions of the federal budget will be overshadowed. On the other hand, the White House has made a request to Congress for an additional $10 billion in crisis funds as recently as the end of the previous year. Despite the fact that the money was never delivered, the administration has now decided to return $27 billion, which includes a sizable amount of the remaining funds in the Fund for Emergency Planning and Response. The procedure of awarding funds to new initiatives is now being carried out by the states. The most recent payment, which was worth in a 500, was distributed by a guaranteed income program in the state of Wisconsin. Every single month, the payments are made available, and a large number of people are able to receive them and also obtain the money that they require. It is also going to be the final year of the program in its entirety for another year. This initial payment was made for the month of September, and the final payment is scheduled to be sent in the month of August. On the other hand, even a household consisting of two people can have a monthly income that is greater than $36,000 and yet fulfill their obligations. At this moment, a number of governors are advocating for a one-time tax rebate that would put as much as $800 into the pockets of the citizens of the United States. Additionally, I would like to inform the reporters working for the governor that a paycheck does not go as far as it did two years ago, and I am trying to return roughly $8 billion to the hands of hard-working taxpayers of Alabama who pay taxes. On the other hand, applications for new guaranteed income programs have opened up in Massachusetts, for instance, and certain participants will receive monthly payments of up to 500 I want to express my gratitude to everyone for the fact that Joe Biden is truly making an effort to assist the people of the United States. The American people and an increasing number of tax people have been advised by lawmakers to be precise about this from the middle of the year 2022. In addition, the Irish government has stated that it intends to recruit new workers by utilizing the monies that have been allotted to the Inflation Reduction Act, which totals $80 billion. The Internal Revenue Service, on the other hand, does not intend to use all of that funding for hiring purposes alone, according to a number of experts. Compared to the number of full-time employees that the Internal Revenue Service had in 2010, the total number of full-time employees at the IRS is 20% lower. Despite the fact that the population has increased, the agency intends to hire a large number of people using a significant amount of money, with approximately $7,200 of those funds being allocated to the hiring of enforcement personnel. The government has already hired 5,000 phone personnel prior to the beginning of the 2023 tax season, and this would add to that number. It would be beneficial for the agency to have additional cash since it would enable more experienced auditors to handle complex tax filings. The agency might be able to close the annual difference between what is owed and what is collected with the assistance of this move. The government agency has expressed its desire to assist people in obtaining the deductions and tax credits that they are entitled to. At the moment, the primary focus is on the provision of educational and informative materials that provide a breakdown of deductions in language that is easy to understand. So let's hope that individuals will be able to obtain their stimulus money. To all of you, there is a great deal of information regarding the fourth stimulus check, social credit benefits, SSI and SDI programs. You should keep watching this video because you do not want to lose out on this incredible opportunity.
It is essential for the vast majority of people who get social credit to receive their monthly check in order to maintain their financial well-being. After conducting surveys on an annual basis for 20 years, it has been discovered that at least 80% of seniors take advantage of their social credit benefits in some way in order to cover their monthly expenses. On the other hand, now that the deadline for the United States debt limit and ceiling is drawing near, more than 66 million beneficiaries are wondering whether or not their social credit checks would be subject to reduction. The debt ceiling constitutes the maximum amount of money that the federal government is permitted to borrow or borrow. Remember that this does not include borrowing money for new projects or spending, as this is an essential point to keep in mind. It is more for the purpose of covering the limit of the federal debt as well as existing financial responsibilities. In the entire history of the United States of America, the federal government has never failed to fulfill its legal and financial commitments. This is the reason why the present standoff on Capitol Hill between Democrats and Republicans regarding the debt limit was attracting a lot of attention. Prior to this week, it was typically anticipated that politicians in the Treasury Department would have approximately two or three months to pay off the debt. At that period, there was a notable reduction in the number of children living in poverty and the scarcity of food. The data collected by the government revealed increases in expenditures on essential items such as clothing, utilities, and a great deal more. According to Republicans, Republicans in Congress and Joe Manchin have allowed it to expire without being enforced. Beginning with this year, the credit will revert to its structure before to the year 2021, which was a non-refundable credit worth $2,000 per child, at least 16 years old to be precise. When the Guardians submit their tax return for the next year, they will receive that. However, the expenditure on tax for the payments has been halted despite the fact that they assisted a great number of families in maintaining their financial stability in the face of a skyrocketing inflation rate. According to news reports, for the purpose of assisting military spouses in starting and maintaining their enterprises, new funding sources such as grants and loans are being investigated. In addition, the creation of new tools that will make it simpler for business owners to migrate their companies in the event that they are required to relocate their companies. I would like to conclude with this, folks. The celebration of the All-Volunteer Forces 50th anniversary will take place that month. The question of whether or not we were able to attract the talent that we required was one that was being discussed at the time. On the question of whether or not Americans would respond to the call to serve, but now, 50 years later, we can see very clearly that all of you who volunteered and all of you who raised your hand are the reason that our military is the most powerful fighting force in the history of the world, without a doubt. That is the cause for it. And the reason for this is... The reason that we have been able to maintain that force year after year, decade after decade, is because military spouses, caregivers, and survivors have also responded to the need for assistance. In the same way that they have the back of the nation, you have taken back your loved ones. Therefore, the only way, the only way to maintain the strength of this power, the next step is to obtain that, obtain that, and hold true to our pledge. We uphold the solemn commitment that we have to our members of the armed forces, our veterans, and the thousands of veterans and survivors who follow in their footsteps. It is important that I, as the Commander-in-Chief, be here today to sign this executive order because it is important. It has an impact on our military's ability to recruit